Hello, Mola Lab students. Um, now that you conclude the four basic sections of the course, you did lesson one, two, and three, and that dealt with learning the motion of M4s and M2s and M3s. Then you went to a second section, which was the matrix one and two, to put them all together and show you what accents the molar motions will cause when you do a roll. Then we saw the melodies, the molar melodies, where you put M4s, M3s, and M2 motions together in several types of melodic lines in or around the kit. Then we did the etudes. I think we did at least three etudes, etude one, two, and three, without using molar technique on the set, but with ostinatos on the bottom and also get you coordinated to play molar with one hand, but not just on the pad, but on the ride, on the, in the hi-hat, on the snare and tum-tums while you're keeping time. So that requires some sort of a coordination. Uh, and now we're going to start using all that you learn on those four basic blocks with songs. So I have 10 songs for you, and they are very simple to somewhat intermediate to very complex ones. So this one is on triple feel and primarily is gonna serve as a musical environment for you to practice M2, M3s on the hi-hat and M2s on the hi-hat, M3s on the right cymbal, also using the bell, so you're moving a little bit laterally, and also molar motions on the left hand on the snare drum why you keeping time so i didn't go too much into soloing on this one that will come later uh, i'm gonna also put two links below that you can see two songs endure from the tommy Igo book and 12 and from the dave Echo package those two songs are great songs not only to apply on the symbols but also you have some opportunity to do solos with it so but for now let's take a look at this molar song three out of 10, this is number three, and it's also from the Tommy Igo book. I'm just using the track. I, I did a whole new chart and using that track to practice the M2s and M3s, hi-hat and ride, and also a little bit of motions here. So take a look at the track and try to practice like we talk in class and demonstrate in this very simple track, but it's a nice way for baby steps for you to be totally free to do whatever you want. But this is Molar Song 3, incorporating uh, M3s and M2s on hi-hat and right cymbal and a little bit of the motion on the snare drum, expanding that back beat from one note to several notes followed by ghost notes. So I hope you enjoyed the track. It's a fun little track. There is a little bit of solo in there, but uh, primarily get your stuff together with time. So I hope you enjoy. Molar song number three.